channel you guys I am so excited to be back to filming another video for you guys I've been trying to get back in the swing of things all 2020 but literally nothing has been working out I've been having crazy technology issues like I made a handful of videos for you guys and then my baby brother took my hard drive and he dropped it on the floor and it crashed so I lost all my new videos plus every video I've ever made before so on top of that you know my I updated my computer and then my camera stopped being compatible with the computer so I couldn't tether it anymore which means I couldn't film so I've just been filming with my phone lately just trying to do Instagram videos to get some content out but y'all when I tell you it just has been feeling like if it's not one thing it's another but I'm not letting any of that stop me so I uh, one of the looks I did I actually um, took some pictures of it um, I just don't have the video and I posted it on my Instagram yesterday and you guys seem to really like it I asked you guys if you wanted me to make a remake of it and I delivered I had to I had to so um, it's this matte look I use with the run with the Renaissance palette by Anastasia Beverly Hills every color is so pigmented I love how most of the colors are matte I think matte looks just look I don't know it's just something about matte you know like I know that shimmery is really pretty but matte it just it just makes you feel like a whole different kind of bad like I just I can't explain it that's how I feel right now like I love how this look came out I think it's one of the best looks I've ever did and I was honestly so upset that I lost this video but I honestly really liked this video as well I think the look came out equally as great this time and so I really hope you guys enjoy it you know if you like this look you already know what to do like comment and subscribe Okay, I should never tell you, but I'm going to tell you anyway. And yeah, go ahead and comment below uh, if you like the look, what more you want to see from me. I'm all ears, and I'm just ready to get 2020 full into effect, you guys. So get ready to see me all the time. All the time. All right, without further ado, because I'm not going to talk your ears off, I'm going to get right into the video. Bye. Okay, so first things first, I'm going to prime with... Um, LA Girl Pro Concealer in Pure Beige. I'm honestly tired of using this to prime. I really want to get the P. Louise base. That base, honey. One of my favorite YouTubers, Taylor May Jane, she uses that base and her looks always come out amazing. Okay, so for this look, I'll be using my Modern Renaissance palette. You guys, don't judge me. I've had this palette for a very long time <laughs> and it's been through some stuff. It looks disgusting. Do not judge me. But I will be using this whole palette for this look. And I'm going to start with Love Letter right here. When I originally did this look, I used Red Ochre first because I thought it was darker than Love Letter, but it actually isn't, which is weird. Yeah, I'm just going to sweep that all. I'm going to do the reverse um, the reverse transition shade method, which pretty much means that you use your darker shades first and then you blend in your lighter shades. Just like this. This color is so pretty. Oh, I love it. And I'm kind of blending a little bit, but not too much. I'm gonna take it a little higher because I want it blended all the way up into pretty much my uh, my brow bone or my eyebrow. Ugh. You guys don't understand how good it feels to be recording a makeup look on my camera. Like I have not been able to do this in weeks. Ugh. Got my home again. Okay, so I think I want to use the same brush. Oh, by the way, I'm using my Morphe M433. And I'm going to wipe off the excess and I'm going to go in with Venetian Red right here. And I'm going to use that to blend it out. So for the look I did, you know what? I really want to use Venetian Red because I think it'll look a little bit better. But for the look you guys saw, I did use Red Ochre. 
stay true to my look and I'm gonna do red ochre. Taking that same brush. And what I like to do is when I dip a product, I like to tap it on my hand because look how much excess came off. And I'm going to use this to lightly blend. This is a really pigmented palette. That's why I love it so much. This was the first like high end, not high end, but like this was like the first like name brand, name brand palette I've ever gotten. I was like, I was young. I was thinking it was still in high school at the time. So now I'm going to wipe that off again and I'm going to go back in with Love Letter and I'm going to reapply it because we kind of got it, it kind of got lost in the red ochre. And I'm taking the color a little bit higher because I want this color to show off more than um, red ochre. Okay, I think that's good. This is so pretty already. Ah! So excited. So excited. I'm not crazy, I'm just excited. So now I'm going to take pure beige again and I'm going to use that to cut my crease and I'm using this angled brush to, not angled brush, I'm using this concealer brush to do it. I really like using this brush. I love how it's, one, it's a synthetic brush and on top of that it has like a rounded top so it makes cutting my crease really easy. And I also use this to do my brows or to clean up my brows. Really, really like using it. I'm just taking some concealer and I'm starting more so at the top because I need to see I have hooded eyes so it makes finding so it makes cutting my crease just a little bit more difficult because I'll cut my crease where I think it's supposed to be cut and then when I look you like cannot see the cut crease it makes things really difficult so what I'm going to do is take it at the top and I'm going to look down and I'm going to see exactly where it um, I'm gonna see how far it goes up and I'm gonna start there. So, start right here. And I don't even think that it, it doesn't even have to be perfect because when we go in with our next color, Like I said, it doesn't have to be perfect perfect because if you can't get your concealer perfect like this, there's going to be a next step and you'll have a second chance to redeem yourself. So now I'm taking this fluffy shading brush and I'm going to go in with Tempera right here. Tempera right here and I'm going to put that all over the lid. Now when you're using, because this is an all matte look, you want to use fluffier um, fluffier brushes because if you don't it's gonna look really patchy like if I were to use just like a regular synthetic shade shading brush it would look extremely patchy and the color would just not go on right so if you are doing matte on your eyelids make sure you're using something fluffy and you don't even have to use like a fluffy shading brush you can even use like a regular like a regular blending brush and use it that way now I'm just following and this is what I meant by if you messing if you messed up it's okay because matte looks aren't always going to look 100% clean and that's one of the reasons why I like them because you can kind of manipulate your um, makeup into looking like you didn't mess up in the first place. Like so for instance, I can go over the crease line and I can kind of make my own line. The concealer just really helps you outline where you want it to go and also makes the color pop more. Cool. So now I'm taking my Morphe M332 and I'm going to start shading this in, but I'm going to shade it slanted. Do the same thing to the other eye. 
it's more slanted because I want this to be the whole purpose was that this is gonna look really like smoky and whatnot and that's the look I was looking for yes ma'am yes ma'am now I'm going to take this small blending brush right here and I'm going go I'm going in with red ochre and I'm going to I'm going to carefully blend this into that um, love letter color like so and I think I put this a little bit too much but that's okay because we're gonna clean it up so if you feel like you use too much and you really can't because I don't think I want that much coverage of the white cover so I'm gonna go back in with that color this was tempera and I'm gonna shade that back in here and I'm gonna go in with love letter again I'm the queen of going into colors a million times until it looks right so now we're gonna use a color that is not in the Renaissance palette because I need a black because we're gonna smoke out my waterline I'm gonna take this black color in my 35 in. <laughs> palette and I'm using this elf brush and I'm going to take the black right along my waterline you want it to be pretty close and you just want to pack it on for now because we're gonna blend it upwards so we can smoke it out So now I'm taking my Morphe 3 to 1 and I'm going to start smoking this out. We're just going to blend right at the waterline. And I'm just going to blend until I get my desired blend. That looks nice. That looks nice. And if you want, you can also just put more eyeliner I mean you can put more shadow and then keep blending which might be what I want to do I'm gonna put just a little bit more mm. we love her oh we love her yes coming together a look so for my lashes, I'm going to be using Miss Lashes in the style M302A. I got these at the beauty supply store. And I'm probably going to apply these off camera, but I just want to show you guys um, before I take them out of the box. So on for the face. I'm just taking a baby wipe, and so I can wipe off all this black that fell out. That's the only thing I hate about black. It's so messy. I've messed up so many of my looks because black. That's exactly because black. <laughs> Alright, so for priming, I'll be using the Pore Freshional, um, the Pore Freshional Mattifying Primer. I usually do not prime you guys, but I recently just got some graduation money and I was like, let me go to Ulta and you know do some shopping because I wanted to invest in my channel and so I picked up all types of stuff I picked up so many brushes you guys and um, I also picked up this primer I just felt like primer was just too expensive to be trying to buy all the time and I actually got the smaller version because it's actually there's actually a bigger size and that was I think that was like 20 something I, I paid 13 for this smaller one and I really like this primer. It makes my skin feel really, really good, really soft, and um, <clears throat> really soft. And it smells so good. It smells so good. And another reason why I'm using this primer today, because I won't say I use primer every single day because I forget, but I'm making sure I do it today because of the kind of foundation I'll be using. So when I went to Ulta, when I was doing my makeup shopping, whatever, I picked up the Juvia's Place Foundation Sticks, which I, I really like them, but the thing about it is because it's a foundation stick, it's a cream. So creams don't dry. So it made my face just a little bit oily 
and uh, yeah I didn't really like it and I'm not used to using a stick because I use a mattifying foundation that I've been using forever you guys know the one I use Revlon's color stay and yeah I just wasn't expecting that but anyways I'm using the color Benin and just going to Yeah, and with creams, you guys, I think I just said this, but creams don't dry. You know, like foundations dry down, like concealers dry down. This does not. I'm taking my Real Techniques foundation brush, and I'm just going to stipple this in. But what I will say about this foundation, you guys, it's very full coverage. Very, very full coverage, and I actually like that a lot. I feel like even if, cause I feel like my skin's not perfect, but I feel like even if my skin was extremely clear, I would still want full coverage. It's just something about it, just make, gives you like a super glam look, which I like. All right, and so I also picked up a highlighting color um, from Juvie's Place, and this is Mozambique. I don't know. <laughs> I can't pronounce it. I think Mozam, Mozambique. I think. And apply this under my eye. I've actually used this, like I've used this like a million times trying to figure out exactly what's the best way to use this because the first time i used it i didn't like it but i'm like all right kyra this is new it's a new product for you so it may take some time for you to figure out how to actually use it so now i'm using my real techniques 402 brush it's actually a setting brush which i didn't even know until now <laughs> um but i've been using this to blend out my concealer and i like it a lot and i actually like it better than using a beauty blender i just feel like i have more control while using a brush versus a beauty blender and i feel like i get like my color payoff because you know how sometimes beauty blenders will take off your color i don't think i don't feel like that happens with the brush to do is I like to take that foundation brush again and I like to go over all the edges just to make sure that nothing is harsh so like over here if you went too far you can always go back in with your foundation brush clean that up see oh so to contour I've been using Ben Nye's cream foundation in the color coffee bean you guys I actually really like this um for contouring because i don't know whenever i try to find the perfect shade of concealer to contour it's always like too dark or it's not like warm and this gives me like a really warm contour so i'm just applying it all right here and i apply i like to apply just a little bit higher um just because i don't like my contour too low so usually I would apply it here, but I want to apply it here because when we blend it up, I want it to blend into the concealer so that it all blends together. At the bottom, I have a slight breakout right here. My forehead. And then recently, you guys, I've been contouring my nose and I really like it. I really really like it sometimes it'll be giving me problems because sometimes my it'll be like uneven but for the most part I don't really like it it's kind of one well it's not too uneven and now I'm taking my Morphe 178 and I'm going to use that to blend and like I said, I like to blend upwards. Never blend your contour, your cream contour, or your contour period. Never blend it downwards, always blend it up. So 
So to blend my nose, I'm using the Morphe M321. And I already used this brush, but I just wiped it off. And I need to wipe it some more because now there's black on me. I already used it before. And I'm just using that to blend this all in. I didn't wipe it well enough because now there's black on my nose. Fantastic. To set my face, I'm using the Morphe powder in the color Banana Rich. It's like this really, really yellowy yellow <laughs> and um, I'm gonna be using my Morphe M54 M536 I'm sorry to set it and I'm taking some I'm dapping it the excess all in here I don't know if you guys can see that because I don't want too much and now I'm just gonna press it in my skin and I don't like to bake I feel like sometimes I might bake but I really just like to set my foundation I mean set to my face because I feel like baking just I don't know it, it always leaves me ashy for some reason and this way I get to set my concealed areas or my face and I don't look ashy or anything like that And I like to set everything because my face does get a little oily and I know that we primed but still so now to set my contour I'll be using Morphe's Brontour and the color Showmance I would show it to you guys but as you can see yeah I'm still hurt over this I don't know what I did to deserve this just one day I just woke up and it was like this and I'm using this brush. I have no idea what kind of brush this is. It doesn't have a name. I don't even know where I got it. I don't even think I bought it. I think I just, it was given to me or I took it. I don't know. And I'm just going to clean. Or I'm going to set my contour. I love this so much because like the, um, so like the cream foundation that I used to contour in the first place, this one it gives me just such a warm face like it's such a warm brown it's not like a a really dark harsh brown it's just so makes my face warm and bronzy like and same thing with my nose i'm taking um that same brush i use the m321 wiping some off and i'm going to go over my nose again that powder or with this powder and then blending it a little bit with my fingers cool so now I'm going to take this fluffy brush and I'm just going to wipe off any excess powder And you guys, I've been doing a trick lately and I really, really like it. So sometimes I feel like my my powder, my setting powder will make me look really ashy. So I just started using um, a press powder um, over everything so that it doesn't look ashy and it kind of just brings everything together. So I'll be using um, the Mary Kay press powder. or It's a loose powder actually in the color bronze for, but you can use a press powder. And you want to use your skin color. Actually, I have some right here. And I'm using um, my Real Techniques 202 brush. It's a face brush. And taking a little bit on my brush. And I'm just pressing this in all over it. And I'm putting it just a little bit over my highlighted areas. Just a little bit. Just so everything looks really, really blended and seamless. But not too much because you don't want to ruin the high to your light. Okay, so now to finish my under eye, we're gonna go in with Love Letter. And I'm using this 
wing brush and I'm just going to blend that all in there. Okay, you guys, I'm so, so, so sorry. The rest of this video will be recorded on my phone because my camera is full and I'm trying to transport the videos that are on there to my computer, but it's taking a really long time and I have to leave. So I'm just gonna finish on my camera. We're just gonna finish. Okay, so I ended up putting on a different set of lashes and I'm gonna go in with my Morphe setting spray. I love this setting spray so much, you guys. It smells so good. Now for my highlight, because I like to do that after my setting spray has set, I'm gonna go in with my Morphe M438 and I'm gonna use, oh no. So what am I, I'm using my Morphe highlighter palette, but one of them cracked. We're gonna use, but it's fine, we're gonna use Meteor. This is so sad, you know what, no. I'm gonna use Mirage right here. Hopefully you guys can see that. I can't tilt it too much. Okay, so now for lips. I moisturize a little bit. I love using. Vaseline to moisturize. And I'm gonna go in with my NYX lip liner in the color Espresso. Just going to line them. I think I'll put a little too much Vaseline because it's not really sticking. That's far, I'm just gonna keep drawing over it. Okay, and now to top this off, I'm taking my Morphe lip gloss in the color Boho. It's this really pretty, like light pink. Put that all in the center. 